Welcome back to the Gridiron Expert. We're continuing our Big Ten football predictions today, and our next team surprised everybody last year by starting the season unranked, but ended up being Big Ten champions and making the Rose Bowl. And they are... Penn State Nittany Lions. So, if you do remember, Penn State did start the season unranked. Uh, had a bit of a slow start, lost to Michigan and Pittsburgh early on, but then won out, including a Big Ten championship win over Wisconsin. Uh, they finished uh, the season at number five and played USC in that classic Rose Bowl game. Uh, unfortunately, lost that game, but it was a thriller, 52-49, to 49, so it was a heck of a game. Uh, James Franklin has done a great job taking over this Penn State team and getting them back to where they need to be. Uh, and this season, they're hoping to be a playoff contender, uh, but definitely a Big Ten title contender for sure. So let's just see how they're going to do. They do return 15 starters, including nine on offense. And that's going to be huge. Uh, the leading force on that offense will be Saquon Barkley at running back. A lot of people have him pegged as a Heisman contender. Uh, we saw what he could do uh, late in the season last year, so I'm very excited to watch him this season. Uh, opening the season against Akron, shouldn't be any, uh, shouldn't be any problems there. Uh, not a cupcake team, but Penn State should take care of him at home. Not really concerned about that. That'll be a good warm-up game for them. Uh, Tracy McSorley at quarterback, Barkley at running back. And the defense only returned six starters, so hopefully they can work out any problems that they have there. And then Pittsburgh, you know, I don't think anybody thought that that Penn State-Pittsburgh game last year would have playoff implications. That was only the second game of the season. Penn State lost that game, but had they won, I think they would have made the playoff last year. So Pittsburgh actually prevented Penn State from making the playoff, if you ask me. Uh, this year, Penn State gets Pittsburgh at home. Like I said, they lost on the road last year. Pittsburgh, a team that I do have them taking a major step back. Uh, I don't think they're going to do as well as they have the past couple years. And I think Penn State, with it being at home and with them being overall more talented than this Pittsburgh team, I think they're going to get the win as well. And then Georgia State, another uh, this, it's a Sun Belt opponent. If you do remember, though, Georgia State gave Wisconsin a little bit of a scare last year. They lost that game 23-17, to uh, but did uh, hang with Wisconsin for the entire game. Uh, shouldn't be any problems for Penn State there. Don't need to overlook them, but Georgia State um, shouldn't give the Nittany Lions any problems, and they're going to start the season 3-0 as well. And as I mentioned in my Ohio State video, Iowa is a very tough place to play. Iowa upset Michigan last year um, at Iowa, so uh, no team needs to kind of overlook this game. Everybody needs to be uh, careful when they travel to Iowa. Uh, and that's their first Big Ten game for Penn State, so you know things do change when you start conference play. A lot of things change. Uh, from when you're doing non-conference. So uh, with it being at Iowa, that is a little scary, but I think Penn State, uh, last year we didn't know much about them until they beat Ohio State. I think that was their, their key moment that really propelled them into the national spotlight. Uh, but this year, everybody knows what to expect. I think they're going to get the win in Iowa. Uh, this is a team, Iowa, that it's going to take a little bit of a step back from last year as well. Um, they're not, it's going to take them a long time to get to that form when they were just a play away from making the college football playoff. And then Indiana, a team that I also like their quarterback, uh, Richard Legault. I'm really excited to watch him. Uh, Indiana is a team that should make a bowl game this year. Uh, they do have a new head coach, but shouldn't be any issues there. Uh, and then with it being at Penn State, I don't think Indiana is going to be able to hang with them, though. I think, really, Penn State's offense can be explosive, and that's kind of James Franklin's strength. As we saw what his offense was like at Vanderbilt, they were really improved there, and he's kind of brought in this style of play here to Penn State. Uh, so I think he's going to take easy care uh, with the offense, and the defense should improve as the season goes on. Uh, and they're not going to be bad either with six turning starters. But they get the win over Indiana. And then a uh, huge game here in, uh, in October, first game of October. Northwestern is a team that I really think could surprise a lot of people in the Big Ten. I think a lot of people are saying they're overhyped, um, but a lot of people are buying into the hype. I'm actually buying into the hype. Uh, they have uh, Justin Jackson back at running back and Clayton Thorson back at uh, quarterback. Six team returning starters overall. So they're a real dark horse Big Ten title contender, if you ask me. Uh, it is a cross-division game. They're not in the same division as Penn State, so that is good uh, in terms of that. But with it being on the road, and with Northwestern, I think, really going to improve this year. They went 7-6 and six last year, but this year I think they're really going to surprise a lot of people. And I'm going to predict the first loss for Penn State to Northwestern. I really do think Northwestern is going to surprise a lot of people. And this is going to be a very, very good team uh, this season. And then, luckily, after the loss, they get a bye week going to play Michigan. And that was Penn State's other loss in the regular season last year. They lost to Pittsburgh and Michigan and then USC in the Rose Bowl. Uh, last year it was at Michigan. Uh, this year, since it's at Penn State, I feel more comfortable picking the Nittany Lions in this one. And Michigan's also, this is, the, this is not the same Michigan team we saw last year. That was only a few players away from making the playoff. Uh, Michigan lost a lot of people last season. Uh, they do return their quarterback in Wilton Spate, but um, only five returning starters total on the entire team. Don't feel confident about the Wolverines in this one. Give them... 
Penn State the win there. And then Ohio State uh, on the road. I uh, remember last year Penn State up, upset Ohio State in, uh, in that game. That's why I said propelled them into the national spotlight, kind of got drew a lot of attention. This is going to be huge because they're in the same division, so this game could determine who plays in the Big Ten Championship game. With it being on the road, though, and with Ohio State, I think probably being the most experienced team in the Big Ten, I think Penn State will lose this game. And as I said in my Ohio State video, all signs point to an Ohio State win. It's at home. They've got the better quarterback. They've got a little revenge. They're wanting to seek that revenge. I think all signs point to an Ohio State victory. Would not surprise me if Penn State upset them, uh, but I feel more confident picking the Buckeyes in this one. And then, luckily, the last four games in November are against some of the weaker teams. Their toughest opponent will be Nebraska, but they get some of the weaker teams in the Big Ten. Michigan State, a team that struggled a lot last year. Uh, Penn State took easy care of them last year. Um, with it being on the road, back-to-back -back road games, and coming off a loss, they do need to be careful not to lose this one because they're still in the running for a New Year's Six Bowl. I think they'll get the win over Michigan State, though, a team that will improve from that 3-9 season last year, uh, but not too much. They won't improve uh, drastically. And then Rutgers, uh, obviously a team that's really struggled since they've transitioned to the Big Ten. Really don't think they're going to uh, pull off any huge upset over a powerhouse like Penn State, Ohio State, uh, Michigan, anybody like that. Should get the win over Rutgers. And then Nebraska, a team that is still middle of the pack, Big Ten, could surprise a few people. Uh, they surprised me last year until they got hit by those injuries. Uh, they were looking really good. Uh, Penn State gets them at home. Uh, and I, I think the Nebraska team is going to finish middle of the pack, Big Ten. Uh, no surprises there. And so I think Penn State will get the win over the Cornhuskers. And with that being at home, that helps out a lot. And then Maryland in the final game of the season. Not uh, a super strong opponent, Maryland is. Uh, it's on the road. Do need to be careful of that because right now they're at 9-2. and two. Uh, and so this is a very key game. It's a difference between a 9 and 10-win season. That's a very big, uh, very big game, very big difference in, in numbers there. And um, they ha they're in the running for a New Year's Six Bowl at this point. And I think Maryland's just a team that could make a bowl game this season, um, but they're not, they're not in a position to upset anybody major. And I think Penn State will get the win over Maryland. And that will give Penn State a 10-2 record which is actually the same record they finished with last season in the regular season. They finished the season overall 11-3, uh, winning the Big Ten Championship and losing the Rose Bowl. But another 10-2 record in the regular season, that's huge for Penn State. They're going in the right direction. Look at another New Year's Six Bowl, probably another Rose Bowl, uh, if Ohio State were to make the playoff. And really, this Ohio State game is going to be the biggest game on Penn State's schedule by far, because if they win that, I think they will win the division, uh, no doubt, because they'll own the tiebreaker over Ohio State. Uh, and in that Northwestern game, I know some people could disagree with that, but I really do feel like Northwestern is a, a legit contender in this Big Ten and could surprise a lot of people and pull off an upset. And with it being on the road and Northwestern being hyped up, I just don't feel comfortable picking Penn State. But another 10-2 season for them, uh, pointing in the right direction. Tracy McSorley and Saquon Barkley are really going to carry the load on offense, and I think the defense will progress as the season goes on. I'm really excited to watch this Penn State team. So we're just going to have to see how things play out. But please continue to like, comment, subscribe, and make sure to share our videos. And we'll see you next time on The Gridiron Expert.